Hello guys, welcome back to Quick Movie Cap, today we gonna watch, an American crime movie named, Get the Gringo, this movie is about how an American thief ended up in Mexican jail and saved a young boy life, so watch out, sit back and relax. The film opens with a getaway driver and his wounded accomplice dressed as clowns, fleeing from the American police and heading towards the Mexican border. The driver crashes through the border fence, which leads to him getting arrested by corrupt Mexican police officers. When they find over $2 million in the back seat of the car, it makes them greedy, and they imprison him in El Pueblito prison under false charges, whilst keeping the cash for themselves. El Pueblito prison is where all highest level of criminals in Mexico are imprisoned. It is infested with inmates who are in gangs who deal in things like guns and alcohol. It is like a small shitty mall of its own. Since he's the only American in the prison he comes to be known as Mr. Gringo. Being a master at robbing and stealing, Mr. Gringo get himself some cash and a gun on his first day. The Gringo manages to quickly work out the prison's criminal hierarchy and engages in petty theft and robbery from some of the prison's less reputable businesses. One of these thefts is witnessed by a 10-year-old kid who is living with his incarcerated mother and is protected by the prison's criminals. Curious, the gringo presses him to explain why the criminals defend him, but kid refuses to talk. The kid tells him that you can buy anything in the prison, but not the way out. If you attempt to escape, you'll get shot instantly. He also tells him about Javi, the rich guy who runs the prison, and how he wants to kill him, but he doesn't reveal his motive. Later, when kid tries to kill Javi using an immature method, the gringo stops him because he's incapable and asks him why he is so special in the prison again. That's when he reveals that Javi killed his father to harvest his liver because he matched his rare blacks the attention of a United States consulate employee who gringo calls Fat Pig. He quickly identifies him as a career criminal. Unconcerned, gringo and the kid work towards bringing down Javi, and during the process, he grows closer to the kid's mother. Javi's cousin suspects that he got robbed by the kid, so he attacks him and tries to rape his mother. When Javi's brother tries to save the kid the cousin tries to kill him as well. That's when the gringo shoots him and saves Javi's brother. Javi loses his mind when he finds out about his cousin's death. But the gringo earns his trust by telling him how he saved his brother and eliminated a bad employee at the same time. He also tells Caracas that their money was stolen by Vasquez and Romero, the same police officers who had arrested him. Before Caracas can find them, they are already being tortured by Frank Fowler's man, who is another big gangster in the United States. Fowler asks the cops where all his money is, but since they spent most of it, they don't have any answers so Fowler commands his man to kill them. That is when Caracas men come in and kill Fowler's men then take the rest of the money back to Caracas. Fowler sends his assassins to the prison to kill the gringo and Javi, which results in a mass shooting in the prison. And the gringo and Javi's men kill them all. After the shooting, Javi wants to kill gringo, but he gains his trust again and tells him he can get him Fowler and kill him if Javi can arrange a gun and a car to the USA. David brings him that and he goes to USA to find Fowler. But in the Mexico, after the shootout, the government plans to raid the prison. This makes Javi worried, so he tells his men to prepare him for a liver transplant before he leaves the prison. In the US, the gringo, who is now out of prison, lures Fowler out of hiding by arranging a meeting between him and shipping magnate Thomas Kaufman. Gringo pretends that he is his ex-partner, Reginald T. Barnes, who betrayed him. Then he sets up a meeting between Kaufman and Fowler, during which he kills Fowler with a big boom. The gringo locates the fat man back in the Mexico, who tells him that Javi is going to do the liver transplant that night, so he rushes to save the kid, who had unsuccessfully attempted to stab himself in the liver. Using the consulate employee's credentials, the gringo enters the prison during their raid and interrupts Javi's liver transplant surgery. Threatening to kill Javi, the gringo forces Caracas to retrieve the kid's mother. 
Caracas returns with two thugs, but the gringo kills them both. A nurse helps the gringo by pretending to capture him. When Caracas relaxes, the gringo shoots him. They grab the money. And the nurse helps them escape from the prison in an ambulance. In the epilogue, the gringo recovers the additional missing $2 million, which was hidden in the escape car held at the impound lot. Then the gringo, the kid, and his mother retire to an idyllic beach. Kaufman hires two thugs who exact retribution on the real Reginald Barnes, killing him.